You know those uh, days where you read the site guide and uh, the site turns out to be not quite what you expected. Well, here we go. It's a five star rasp day. Uh, what does that mean? Okay, very good weather forecast. Fantastic thermals, really good lapse rate, which means that the air is getting cooler as you go up. So I can see on the forecast that this is where I need to be. Unfortunately, the best site here Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, you were expecting an epic mountain. I'm relying completely on the forecasted uh, thermal climbs. That's unfortunately my thermal generator. Not very good, is it? So we've got green everywhere here. Maybe we can do a trick in uh, Premiere Pro and just change it to desert or black tarmac. That'd be better. It's not going to work, is it? Green. So green is your worst color, probably, for thermal generation. You've got plants that are using the sun's energy for photosynthesis. So they're actually pulling that energy in, which means they're not giving off heat. You want to have a look at a forecast where you get a sounding, where you get an, an indication of the change in temperature as you go up. And that's the environmental lapse rate. That's critical for getting away from a hill. You need to have thermals that are going to be able to go a long way up so that you can get the height to get away. And quite often if you're near the coast or if you're flying on a hot day, it's quite often because there's a high pressure there's an inversion layer, the air is warm on top, and you're not going to get away from that hill, no matter how good you are. So put the, the odds in your favor by getting a good forecast for the day, getting a good uh, condition, air condition. So I know I've got five stars in terms of air quality at the site. I know I've got the wind direction perpendicular to the slope. My strategy for getting up and away from this hill, well, We've got a short piece of ridge that we can work. We've got pretty much the same terrain out in front. If I can do it here, you can do it anyway. What I do see further down is there is a, a big um, group of trees. It's not quite a forest, but it's a a big clump of trees which is going to stop the wind so there's a field downwind of that that's going to pull the air is going to warm up there and then release after a longer time so that's probably a place to go and have a look at down the end there Right, I should have swung out a little bit further to the left here to uh, be kinder to the purple pilot. Uh, I'm cutting in a little bit on the circle, so I'll widen up in the next turn. There's another X Alps, so we can harmonize. I'm just trying to balance myself on the other side of the circle. That's a good climb. So I'm really wanting to hold on to this. And the other pilots are being very helpful here because you can see, watch them against the background, against the horizon. But can you see how little this thermal has drifted? That wind is cranking through. Paul wasn't having any penetration, but now I'm doing circles and I'm staying in the same place. And that's because a strong thermal will tend to go straight up and it won't be affected so much by the wind. It actually blocks the wind as it's muscling its way upwards. 
So this is your ticket to get away from a small hill. You can't leave the hill in the weaker thermals because they will follow the slope, the angle of the slope. Trying to find the core. I really want to try and stay in this and get as high as possible. Um, looking at my course, I've got a thousand meters I can go up according to the airspace charts. That's pretty good. Climb still. 